Hey guys, how we doing? So we're back on another Nux Taku video. Um, this is Anime in Winter 2019, already beat 2018, and this is going to be uh, be cool to see what Nux thinks about what's out at the moment. Um, I'm enjoying a few. Them. I've, I've been checking out Boogie Pop. Oh, that's such a weird show. Rise of the Shield Hero really surprised me. Another Isekai, and I was like, mm, but it was boss. Um, my cat is my housemate I'm really liking. And Price of Smiles. Price of Smiles is up there as well. Um, and then obviously we've got the time we're reincarnated as a slime still continuing. Uh, Radiant still going. Um, Black Clover still going. We've still got Baruto. And then, yeah, so there's still a couple of other things, shows that I haven't quite checked out yet. They're still queued up on my Crunchyroll <laughs> list. But let's see what uh, Nox has to say about um, the winter season of... Um, of anime 2019. Yo, what's happening, fan base? Yo. I was considering making this video for the last few Dollar weeks, but unfortunately I got sick, and Why through getting leaving? sick and losing one's voice, I decided, instead of making this a very positive video, on right. why 2019 is super special, awesome, and instead of making in-depth <laughs> analyses that I will feel bad to listen to in the future because I sound like a dying hedgehog, oh, okay. it'll be a slightly <laughs> less positive video because I'll be blasting oh. 2018. The reason for this change of mind, Mother's Basement seems to think 2018 Oh. And we checked like that out. Posted this meme on Twitter, and uh, aside from the fact that I think 2018 was below average, I mean, Ooh. just to pick out two years that I consider pretty top tier, Ooh. we got 2007. You know, it had Gurren Gurren Lagan, Lagan. Death Note, yeah. Rakano, Mononoke, Clannad, Code Geass, <sighs> as Anime Upward tweeted. We had 2000. What a hell of a year that is! <laughs> had Steins Gate, Madoka Magica, Hunter Hunter, Anohana, Fate Zero, Yo. among others that I'm not remembering off the top of my head. But to just put a final nail in the coffin, since between my face, which is stuffed and my voice which doesn't really seem to work <laughs> i need some hashirama cells, hashirama now, cells now Let's give him this him. video why 2019 is already better for anime than 2018 Ooh. and no i'm not just making this video because when i get bored i like reading salty comments that has nothing to do with it not the ulterior motive whatsoever mm. purely for entertainment mm. purposes <laughs> before we discuss the original <laughs> anime that are airing this year and in 2018, i.e. the anime that are starting that is not a sequel, let's discuss the sequels to see where we stand there. Right. So note, SAO3, Fairy Tale, JoJo's Part 5, and Index are all continuing into 2019, so it doesn't particularly make 2018 better than 2018. Right. Aside from that, we had Attack on Titan Season 3, My Hero good. Academia Season 3, but then again, Amazing. My Hero Academia Season 4, and Attack on Titan Season 4 this year. My voice yeah, needs cool. Titan regeneration abilities now! <laughs> So sad. Can we have an F in the chat, please, for Nux's poor dead voice? Boop, 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 no, that boop, boop, doesn't make 2018 better than 2019. Again, God, I hate my voice right now. I mean, if I had a gun with two bullets in the room with Hillary and Trump, I'd shoot myself in the voice twice! Ha. The other sequels we've had in 2018. Quote in the office there a little bit, but never mind. That was very awesome. Seven Deadly Sins, season two. Once again, very, very awesome. awesome. Steins Gate prequel, which I actually really like despite people not liking it, and Tokyo Ghoul Reed, mm. which was garbage. Let's discuss <laughs> the sequel heaven that we have going on this year. We have some decent stuff, like Kakaguru. No, don't stick off of Kakaguri. Chiapuru, Bungo Stray Dog Season 3, which I personally love, Dungeon Girls, which was fine, Attack and Titan, My Hero Academia, to cancel out the 2018 great sequel, but aside from that, we got Haikyuu, one of my favorite anime ever. My mate Kieran goes on about that. One of my favorite Mob Psycho, anime ever. boom. And a one punch friend, one of my favorite anime ever. In the sequels department, 2019 destroys 2018, because we still got two thirds left. The JoJo's part five, three quarters left. The fairy tale and three quarters Yeah, fairy tale's still going, yeah. In the sequel department, this is not even a competition, it's not even a debate, it's not even up to opinion. 2019 wins the sequel battle with facts and logic. Okay. Very cool, 2019. Very cool, very, very cool. cool. <laughs> so before discussing 2019, let's take a brief look at 2018 and why certain anime users <laughs> is considered to be the best year ever. Now, on this very meme, we got Planet With, which I thought was mediocre. Oh, I thought it was Finally awesome. Evergarden, which I personally thought was slow. And Whoa. Dropped it. Devil Man Cry Baby, I... definitely something new. And I yeah, it was enjoy interesting. Megalo Box, I thought was absolutely Me fantastic. Megalo Box was amazing. It, not gonna lie. Bunny Girl Senpai, Brilliant. my personal favorite anime of the year. A Place Further Than the Universe, again. Never nice, checked it out. cheery, but I didn't go for it. Zombieland Saga. Amazing. Still not sure why it's here. I mean, it was decent. It was amazing. <laughs> the Grand Scar was cool. 
this year, so that evens out. And he did not add on his list Slime Isekai, which I thought was better than a lot of the things. Yeah, it was amazing. As well as Goblin, Goblin Slayer. Slayer was cross as well. Mason's favorite anime of all time. I don't even know how he didn't make it onto his meme. I'm very oh. So, so funny, I love when we watch his mother's Facebook videos. I'm just really happy with how anime 2019 <laughs> So, about Goblin Clash. <laughs> but if I were to tier these 10 anime I just mentioned, 10th right. place would be Planet with, I was just unimpressed with the entire show. Didn't like anything. Oh, about I liked it. It really piqued my philosophical interests here. Not gonna be an anime I'll remember. Number 9, I'd have Zombieland. So oh, uh, no. Again, as far as the shows go, it's top tier, but I was never in final shows. I just personally thought it was, you know, mid seven range like you get three or four anime zombie land saga tier every single season at least that's my take on it i don't give it diversity points that other people in eighth place i'd have a place further than the i universe. haven't checked Again, it out but a lot know, of people nice gave it a lot show, of but for me you get three four anime every season i'm looking at the top five, five and i'm like yeah yeah the that's cool great, but i just found it pretty boring i understand a lot of people like it so not knocking this one it's a personal distaste it is good six agretsuo again we're getting a sequel it's this good. year so it's good. it shouldn't really be in competition i'm liking this top five Number five, slimy. Sakai. I would swap them around really a bit, like, but I'm not going to go into that. I will that. be very soon be comparing to another isekai anime Ooh. that is airing this current 2019 oh. winter season. Rise of Shield Hero. Slayer. Once again, <laughs> the basement loves this anime. He made a great video discussing all of its strong points, like, you know, rape in episode one. But uh, I also made a video on Goblin Slayer, which I thought was solid. I think Mr. Goblin Slayer is a fascinating character with not only a fascinating psychology, but fascinating how he approaches this DND oh, style God. world. Everything is measured by the roll of the dice. Brilliant so Goblin he does Slayer. everything in his power to make his odds the best to go up against fate. Other characters are pretty fun, and there's a lot I like about Goblin Slayer. Same with Devilman Crybaby. I thought yeah. it was also a good show. The animation was cool as well. Of really fascinating themes. Megalobox, once again, Megalobox was amazing. Great, I don't know, 8.2 or something. Yeah, so I guess good. it's generic it. underdog sports anime type thing. But it was. I would have had Darling well, and the Franks on this list. <laughs> Fantastic romance, one for the books that I will find. Real Senpai was remember. incredible, yeah. I'm trying to be fair here. I'm not trying to trick anyone into following my narrative. If you think 2018 yeah. was better, by all means, you're totally allowed. I really like a lot of the opinion. anime that came out there, too. I just praised like five of them and disliked five of them that most people praise. Yeah, the comment section is going to be fun on this guy. So, <laughs> before even discussing what's going on 2019, just to compare this to previous years, like 2007 that I already mentioned, none of these top 10 even come close. The girl Logan, Death Note, uh, Mononoke, or, wow. Chaos, or 2011, none of these top 10 even come close to Fate Zero, Steins Gate, Madoka Magica, hell, Anna, or hell of a even 2017, quality of which I realized was not the greatest year ever, had Made in Abyss, which overshadows everything this year by mile as well. So <laughs> even just the thought of calling this I the best check year out ever, Made it's either being blinded by hype, pure clickbait, I basically live on Crunchyroll, so if it's not Crunchyroll, I... does not have bad taste. I mean, he said he's not sure if Mob Psycho is his favorite anime of all time. Wait a second. Mob Psycho's coming out in 2019. Pretty funny. All this said and done, again, it's purely <laughs> oh, taste based. the basement digs. Brilliant. Like whatever you want. And as far as Mr. Basement, meeting him in person, he actually is a really nice guy. Oh, okay. This is a friendly disagreement, and let's already discuss cool. why 2019's already a fall. Better year than 2018. <laughs> and yes, okay, you got me. I'm doing all these weird sounds with my voice just because I'm trying to avoid talking normally. Because I sound like a goddamn corpse! Okay, let's talk about 2019. Yeah, let's as do it. As far as anime oh, that have not yet aired, aired, so I good. can't judge anything. So well, well, yes, so I've really enjoyed that. Finland Saga and Dr. Stone both oh, have extremely strong. I'm really looking forward to Dr. Stone. I either of them to completion, but from the bits and pieces I have read, they are both individually superior to every anime of 2018 Oof. and this seems to be a general consensus it's not my own personal hot take if right. you're familiar with either of these two series you probably agree with me dr stone is gonna be well, great get hyped <laughs> the storm cometh but as far as this winter season alone there are six anime i wanted to mention that right aren't sequels firstly and secondly domestic no kanojo and gotobun no hanayome i've not are seen either of those oh no consider very good that said i do consider them mid-tier which is approximately the same rank i would consider planet with zombie land saga and just barely ah. throw a place for the universe okay but it's the next poor anime that made me decide to make this video first kaguya-sama i like kaguya-sama more than the <laughs> oh, no. six 
of the top 10 of 2018. It's a hilarious psychological romance anime where two really fascinating characters are both in it's love with each other. It's not on my queue on Crunchyroll, I'm not sure. Because I've queued up like episode ones of stuff so I can they're both check them out from the start when I get around to it. Assholes, which is potentially one of the greatest combos of all time. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't yet, feel free to do so and leave a like on this video. <laughs> what? No! Not that I'm calling myself a genius asshole or anything. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, the second thing, the next thing I wanted to talk about was the Shield Hero Isekai anime. It's good. I personally prefer to the slime Isekai because of its takes on society. Yes. As well as the fact that I already like the protagonist. The main character's just accused of stuff straight away and it's like, whoa. Slayer, I would still consider it slightly worse than Goblin Slayer. Not that it will remain that way, but as of now. It's your typical isekai show where four heroes are summoned from the regular world to this fantasy yeah. RPG-esque setting where our main character of the four is the shield hero. Yeah. You know, you Everyone that looks that down on him. Weapon, who's basically the loser in the group. Now, because he believes he's in this really happy fantasy world, nothing could go wrong. He ends Bored. up getting accused as a rapist yep. and convicted, even though he's done no such thing. He's then alienated by society, which has to put up with him because he's one yeah, of the he's four one of the four heroes. Things, but yeah. everyone hates him. He realizes he has to do his own thing and come up with his own ways to survive. His character changes so quickly as well because world, of how he's treated. It's brilliant. The fact that he's already an enemy to society. And he does so. The character development's great. The societal writing of an isekai is amazing yeah, it's awesome. one of the best societal and writing Talia, I've seen since so Lock Horizon as I will discuss in a future video because it's also a societal commentary aside from building its own Lock Horizon I really and like I have a turned off on dynamic, like near the end of season 1 cat girl whammon will be interesting as well him freeing her by buying her as a slave oh, oh, getting Talia. her away from slave merchant so he'll be doing a good thing but again society will be able to twist that like wow that guy has a slave whammon yeah. once again playing into the theme of the show I am quite impressed by it so far, but I'd be hesitant to say at this early point that it beats the top four of 2018. Well, Judging we shall by see. what I've seen so far, it I looks will good. predict that I'll end up liking it more than yeah. Goblin Slayer, especially because best guy ever likes it more than Goblin Slayer, and his taste is pretty good. But I doubt I'll like it more than Megalobox or Bunny Girl Senpai. Next, right. do 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 do. Not to be confused with do da da da. <laughs> that's a totally different thing. What there's no this? demon. Okay, there's demons. Where the main character of do 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 is a kid whose father wanted power, so signed some contract with the demons for a price, and the price was that his firstborn son, i.e., the main character of do do do, right. or at least one of the main characters, was born without the ability to see, without the ability to feel, without the ability to speak, and without the ability to hear. Uh. I'm not sure, but I'm not betting on it. This guy is a sad. Sap, but he makes something of himself. We don't exactly know his wow. goals as of now, but he is hunting down demons and killing them, figuring out a way to survive by sensing the energy in objects and people, honing his yeah. skill. Because, oh yeah, he was also born without arms. What? Skin. Tragic backstories don't get much worse. I already like do do do, do even to the opening theme, as well as the direction. That sounds of amazing. More than Devilman Crybaby and Goblin Slayer. I doubt it'll be Megalobox and Bunny Girl Senpai, but at the same time, I'm not holding my breath, and it very well might. I can see this evolving into an cool. actual fascinating series, being that I'm already so interested in this main character, Hyakimaru, and I know literally nothing about him, because he can't freaking tell me. Yeah. Don't know what was the name of the other main wow. character that's traveling along with Hyakimaru. They also meet an old guy, and as we know, old guys in anime are certified badasses. Yes, they are. <laughs> no, 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 no. May very well end up an anime to be remembered. I'm really looking forward to where it's going. Expectations aren't through the roof for a classic, but let's not knock it. It's pretty damn good so far. Cool. And the final anime I wanted to talk Promise about Neverland. this winter season 2018 oh. is the Promised Neverland, oh. an anime that I did not expect to immediately fall in love with. My god, that first episode. I already like it more than Bunny Girl Senpai and Megalobox. I already <sighs> consider it a top tier anime, and as far as my manga reading friends, which I will soon join because I'm definitely picking up this manga, they say it's just <sighs> I don't want to, I don't want to spoil the I anime. I don't want to spoil the ending of episode one because why take Whoa. the punch away? The characters are already so likable. As soon as you see how that's one the end, you're like, show what? Already clear with so much mystery still left uncovered. There's a lot. It hit every emotional note it was supposed to. I could gush about episode one of Promise Neverland for a long time, yep. but I will not. I went into work and I was like, oh my god! Is, I'm working on three videos simultaneously that I would love to record once I have a voice! <laughs> Society, Isekai anime, where I talk about Isekai in general, as well as Shield Hero. Daddy Issues Done Right, where I talk about various anime cool. characters that... Daddy well, Issues Done Right. Issues, and it made the series stronger 
does events where I will also be mentioning the Rororo. And I'm cool. also looking forward to the video I'm making, The Looming Terror of Blissful Happiness, where I will Ooh. be focusing a lot on the Promised Neverland. Cool. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in any of those. And let me know in the comments other anime videos you'd be interested in seeing. As of right now, though, looking at 2019, my prediction is Finland Saga, Dr. Stone, and The Promised Neverland will all be better than anything that came out in Well, Dr. Stone and The Promised Neverland were like in the top. And Shield Hero Shonen being mangas very last year, weren't they? For a top 10 of an average. What do you believe? Sequel wise. Fairy tale I'm sure Super Eye Patch We're Wolf Storm that Oh god this year's gonna be amazing for Anime Hype 2019 is gonna be hella hype yo yeah. Finna woke fam Four <laughs> bitch lasagnas out of four and a half And at least twelve big chunguses Whammon and gentle whammon I appreciate you joining me and watching this video Despite the fact that I sound worse than the band in Zombieland Saga I hope my voice Whoa. will be able to some good Man stuff. leave Glad it alone Leave it out yo Something I wanted love, to say, love, but I know it's not one of my best works. So hey, I got it out. Sound. I really like enjoyed the video. Totally worth it. Don't have patience or willpower for a lengthy outro. Subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, comment. Links in the description to my Twitter, merch, and Patreon. You're have gonna read all the Patreon names. Gonna be awesome. Put a frisky dingo and beep my meat and all those other ones. Never mind. That was a good video. <laughs> that was a good video, I like it. Um didn't mention many of the <laughs> series I've been watching at the moment, damn it. Um, but I, I live on Crunchyroll, basically, so if, 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 if it's not on Crunchyroll or it's not been put on Netflix, I tend to not see things. <laughs> if you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that do, do, not the do ra up the do ra <laughs> that's confusing. Sounds really goddamn interesting. Like, what, no arms, can't hear, can't see, can't feel, but can sense demons and other stuff, like... That sounds bizarre, and he's got swords for arms, where he puts his arms over as well. That looks cool! But yeah, The Promised Neverland is definitely up there. My god, The Promised Neverland is so good. Uh, first two episodes have been incredible. Um, and yeah, this year's going to be class, because like you said, we've got Mob Psycho back. We're getting One Punch Man Season 2. My Hero Academia's coming back later in the year. Attack on Titan's coming back. And we've still got continuing shows from last year as well. And then Doctor Stone, and I haven't heard of that other one that he mentioned, but um, yeah, it's going to be... Incredible. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for uh, watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. And see you guys next time.